Hey guys, I'm Sam Crack, and admittedly, I have too many cars, and every single car that I personally own shares a common theme, that's that they're pretty small. Specifically, my Ford Fiesta ST, which is the smallest car that Ford offers for sale here in the United States. My Audi RS7 is amazing at carrying passengers, but not so much at carrying cargo. My DXP car can supposedly carry up to 80 pizzas at once, but it doesn't do so very comfortably. And my C6 Corvette, well, it's actually not not too bad for a sports car, but try hauling a hood and a couple fenders to a body shop. It just doesn't work out very well. Well, I think it's time for another car, or should I say an SUV? I hopped on Autotempest.com, searched in a 500 mile radius from my home, sorted from lowest to highest price, and one listing really stood out. It was a midsize SUV that was only a year old, had less than 1,000 miles, 850 to be exact, has never been in an accident nor a flood, and was $20,000 off its original MSRP. To get the ball rolling, I did what any rational human would do, and I called my wife for approval. I found another car I want to buy. Are you kidding? I hung up with her, called the dealer, and of course asked them for a little bit more money off the already low price, and they agreed to take another $2,000 off. I hung up with them, I called my wife back, and tried out a new tactic. Hey honey, I want to buy you a new car. That sounds like a great idea. Oh my god, what a thoughtful thing for you to do. Now before we actually head out to the car dealership, I want to take a moment to tell you guys about Autotempest.com because it's now saved me a good amount of money on a few car purchases. Autotempest is the internet's best resource when shopping for a new or used car. Just plug in exactly what you're looking for and Autotempest will bring you results from every major automotive marketplace on one neat and easy to read page. No longer do I start on eBay, then move over to Cars.com, then bounce to Craigslist. Auto Tempest saves me a ton of time, and since I sort by lowest price first, the cheapest examples are always in plain sight. So head on over to Autotempest.com. You can do so using my link in the description box below. All right, so 20 grand off what I'm describing to be basically a new car seems a bit far-fetched, but there is a slight catch here, and that is that this car that I'm buying is a manufacturer buyback, which you might know as a lemon. If we do a Google image search for lemon cars, besides an actual lemon car meme, most of the pictures depict older, rusted out, or just junky looking cars. The Ford dealer that I found my new car at breaks that stereotype as around 80% of their inventory are used lemons, but none of them were over three years old, and most of them were current body styles with lower mileage. I couldn't wait to pick up my new lemon, so I hopped a $37 flight to Atlanta and went straight to the dealer. This dealership has a ton of buybacks. Look, here's one of them right here. This is a 2016 Ford F-150 Roush, and you can see it's got those special off-road wheels, got the Roush stripe on the side here. Roush trucks honestly don't do it for me. What does are the Raptors over here. These are also buybacks, and I wish I could tell you that I was buying a Lemon Raptor, especially this blue one. This color is amazing. This is a 2017 Raptor with 2,853 miles. This car is a lemon with less than 3,000 miles, and the car that we're buying has less than 1,000 miles on it. Here's a couple other buyback trucks. Here are more buyback F-150s. They've got a ton of stuff. A bunch of new Lincolns, some of them buybacks. One of these MKX Lincolns I saw in their inventory was a black label. You rarely see a black label. I think these things have to be custom ordered, but they come with literally everything. It's gotta be this one right in front of us with the LED headlights. I love this car. I would love to buy this car, but this is not the one either. This is a great color. This is a really great color. Now this dealership had a couple of Lemon Focus RSs. Here we go, this is a 16 with 14,696 miles. Now down here, look, here's another one. Oh, there's two of them. I think the blue is the best color in the new Focus RS. And then there's a white one down there, like hopefully that's what mine will look like when it's done, if it's ever done. But let's check this one out. This is another 16 with right under 15,000 miles. The metallic is unbelievable on this Focus RS. And it's got the wheels that my car has on it too. This is an awesome, awesome spec. White one, kind of boring, right? Like mine, ooh, somebody put some uh, aftermarket wheels that uh, I'm not too fond of, but they're all right. And they're a little bit curved up right here too. It looks like someone tried to sand them down. Anyway, this one is also a buyback. All three of these Focus RSs are lemons. This one's got 30,000 miles on it, but the prices on them, 
are absolutely insane. Here, I'm gonna pop up one of the prices here on the screen. And really, I have an idea that my rebuilt Focus RS will end up costing me right around 20 grand, maybe a little bit more, maybe a little bit less, but honestly, for a little bit more you get a car with a warranty and a car that you don't have to spend a lot of time putting back together this might be the better option versus rebuilding especially for a lot of people all right this is what we're looking for right here this is a lemon gt350 now it doesn't tell you the price but i've seen these cars on the website and they all trade in the low forty thousand dollar range this is probably the best bargain sports car in the country here because it's a buyback it's been repaired and hey i sound like i'm pitching buybacks but really i'm just really excited because it might open up a whole new thing for me to be buying <laughs> lemon cars instead of wreck ones and they come with warranty and everything like that too so check out this thing is gorgeous it's in really good shape too and i like this color combination this one has the recaro seats in it which is what everybody wants if you're buying a gt350 all right i've teased you guys enough the car i'm buying it is similar to this it is similar to that and that's because i'm buying a lincoln mkc and it's silver and it's neither one of these actually it's the one hiding up there behind the Shelby Mustang that we walked in and saw right when we got to the dealership. That is my new Lincoln MKC. I say it's new, it's got under a thousand miles, but it's really a lemon. Let's go check it out, we'll take it for a drive. We'll find out why this dealership has so many lemons. I know you guys are disappointed, you probably wanted me to go home with this, but this is the new utility car, the Lincoln MKC. I really wanted to buy a Ford Escape for the longest time, but they had this car under a thousand miles, 2017. The thing is like brand new and it, it was stupid cheap. This car has pretty much every single option on it. This is the high trim level. It's a reserve trim level. It's got the front sensors. I just showed you that big sunroof. I'll show you inside in a second. You're not gonna believe how much off retail I got this car for. It was absolutely insane. This is Justin. Justin is the guy that gave me an amazing deal on this Lincoln. Why do you guys have so many more lemon cars than, you know, the regular dealership? Well, we're one of the few dealerships who participate in selling. Mm -hmm. uh, we like to get late model vehicles uh, and you save your customer versus buying a brand new one. Sure. Uh, in most cases, in a lot of cases, you save anywhere from ten to fifteen thousand yeah. dollars versus number versus buying a brand new vehicle. Mm -hmm. uh, we go over the history with them. Um, if the customer feels com comfortable that this would be a good vehicle for them, then we do what we got to do to make the deal work. Sure. So, so, is there financing available for lemon cars? Yes, you're still able to get the uh, the, the lower interest rate due to your credit. Um, you're still able to put full coverage insurance on the vehicle. Um, warranty, how about warranty? It's a warranty. Uh, by it being a buyback, a lemon law buyback, um, you would have a 12 month, 12,000 miles bumper to bumper warranty on the day you purchase it. And then you would have the remainder of the three year 36 or the five year 60 on the powertrain from the original sale date. So you still have plenty of warranty on it. But, um, in some cases, like this Lincoln, you got less than a thousand miles. <laughs> it's a new car. Yeah, yeah. And the person didn't even give it a chance to be a lemon, right, I, in my right. opinion, but it is. And so I'm willing to take that, like you said, 10 plus thousand dollar discount on it. When selling a car like the Lincoln, a dealership bylaw has to disclose exactly why the car was bought back by the original manufacturer. Most of us know the basic rules of the lemon law. If a car was brought in for service three times for the same exact issue, and the service department could never rectify that issue, well then the car would be lemon lawed out, the manufacturer buys it back. Now in the case of this car, it did have a similar pattern of problems, but not exactly the same exact issue happened three times according to the previous owner, but hey, let me tell you exactly what was disclosed to me in the purchase of the car. At 20 miles, an air light came on the dashboard and the car would shut off. They found some loose pins in a loom and harness. They repaired those and then they went ahead and issued the car back to the owner. Now at 298 miles, 
the owner brought the car back in for a check engine light, a P0420. The mechanics out there are very familiar with that code in which they replaced the entire catalyst. I'm guessing that's the catalytic converter, which makes not a whole lot of sense to me on a new car. But anyway, the car was then brought in at 312 miles where the owner again said the car stalled out and the service department found no concern. They said when they got it, they were able to turn it on. They took it for a test drive. They couldn't replicate that issue. Now, the last time this car was brought in was at 509 miles where the owner said the car cut off. They found another exposed wire. They went ahead, they repaired that. And then they says that they replaced the cat again, which again boggles my mind. Now the obvious repetitive pattern here is that the car was stalling out or cutting out. It was written a few different ways by a few different service people in the report that was issued to me. But that led me to think a little bit. And actually the first time I drove this car, the auto start stop, which is a feature coming on pretty much most modern cars, threw me a little bit because I'm not used to driving a car with auto start stop, especially on a turn. All right, now check this out. We are coming up to a red turn signal here. And so we are going to come to a stop. And when we do come to a stop, the engine start stop should shut the engine off. Now, let's pretend that our red light turns green really quick. When I go to turn the wheel, it's locked because the power steering's off because, well, the engine's off. When you take your foot off the brake, the engine kicks back on, which restores your power steering and everything goes back to normal. But it made me think, is it possible that the previous owner just didn't like the start-stop feature or maybe wasn't used to it and used it to lemon law the car out? It's highly unlikely given that they did find some wiring issues with the car, but in only a little bit over 500 miles, this car was deemed a lemon. Seems to me that it wasn't given enough time to become a lemon but it was and it ended up saving me over twenty thousand dollars so for the numbers this car stickers at right around forty five thousand dollars it was listed at around twenty five thousand dollars and I paid right around twenty three thousand plus tax tag and title for it a huge savings to take a slight gamble in my opinion and I call it a slight gamble because the car still retains its full factory warranty which is good to like 2021 bumper to bumper and 2023 for the powertrain. Now, if you're buying a car that was lemon lawed out and it was running up to the end of the warranty, lemon law cars usually come with some sort of extended warranty. So there's an additional year warranty on this car, uh, but that also runs side by side with the bumper to bumper warranty. So it's really no additional use for me. I'm really thrilled with this purchase. Before finding this specific car, I was shopping a mid-level new Ford Escape and those cars cost a little bit more than what I paid for the MKC. They come with substantially less features and let's just face it this is a much nicer car this specific model the reserve trim comes with almost everything like ac seats navigation the huge panoramic sunroof the front and back sensors one of the coolest things i think that it has is the lane keep assist where it'll actually keep you in the lane if you start to drift off and it actually has a feature where it wakes you up if you fall asleep at the wheel i know because it woke me up twice on the drive home from georgia and depending on how long you've been following the channel or not this is actually my second Lincoln MKC. I had one back in the day that I bought from the salvage auction. It was actually the second car I had ever bought from a salvage auction and it was a super simple fix. I bought it purposely because it just looked too good to be true. I dropped that car off on a Friday at a body shop. I gave them a new control arm, fender, bumper and headlight. I had it back the following Friday and I didn't put a single set of hands on it. That's how easy it was to have that car rebuilt. I drove it a few thousand miles and really enjoyed it, but at the time, well, I just didn't really need the extra space, so I decided to sell it. So now that you guys know the numbers, the history, and the warranty situation on this car, let me know in the comment section below. Do you think that I got a really good deal on this Lincoln, or do you think I'll forever be plagued by the Lemon Lincoln, and that I'll need the Lincoln lawyer to lemon law out my already Lemon Lincoln. <laughs> I also wanna give a huge thanks to Autotempest.com for being a continued sponsor of this channel. If you're like me and are always looking for a car bargain hunt, we'll head on over to Auto Tempest because they are by far the best way to shop for a newer used car online today. Thank you so much for watching, and I will catch you very soon.